Guys, sometimes the DIY is not for everybody and you purchase products online from other companies that, you know, is there an absorbent amount of profit on them? Sure. But you know what? That's their business. You know, I reached out recently to a company and uh, asked them to sponsor a product. And they responded with how many subscribers you have and how many videos you have. And I responded with around 600 and about 70, 70 plus videos. And a day or so went by, maybe two. They came back at me on November 14th and said, in order to give you a product, we would have to sell 100 times that product to recoup the loss. Guys, I may have been born at night, but not last night. That's wrong. That's just not true. So, all I wanted was a door panels. $165 from Main Street Cycle all day long. But it was a Main Street Cycle that did that. Um, God bless Main Street Cycle because they're, they're very innovative and, you know, they know their shit. So, this company said I have to sell 100 times, 100x of a product to recoup what they'll lose. And uh, said, but they can give me a discount and ask me what I wanted. I said, lower door panels. And it's been quiet since November 14th. It's now December 3rd. I haven't heard nothing back from them, which is okay. You know, that's, that's fine. That company, I'll never buy nothing from them now, but, you know, because they weren't honest. You know, just be honest, man. That's all we ask. We are just regular John Doe's, you know. We're nobody to them. We don't have enough of a following. I'm sure if I was a comp, you know, someone who had 10,000 subscribers and a couple hundred videos, they probably would have given them to me because they could have recouped it. But 100 times, they could have sold 100 products just to break even, right? Come on, man. We're not stupid. So anyway, I bought the products to make the lower door panels. I spent $51 on a sheet of uh, four by eight sheet of ABS, which I'll get plenty of use out of that for other products. I only used a two foot by four foot section to build the two door panels. And $10 worth of car weather stripping. And um, that's all it cost me. And Oh, I'm sorry. And the tech screws. That's it, that's all it cost me. And um, that's why I like doing DIY. You know, I should have known better than to even ask for someone to sponsor a product with me, but you know, that's okay. I mean, I've never had anybody sponsor anything. Everything I get, you know, like when I order oil and stuff or belts, I always go to Main Street Cycle, I just do. You know, I just, I'm not promoting anybody, I'm just saying in particular, that's what I do. Oil for this, I ordered a complete oils kit, um, oil and filter, and a new belt for this, just in case for the belt. You know, you always wanna have an extra from Main Street Cycle and uh, yeah, you know, it is what it is. So that's why I DIY. I, I, you know, it is what it is for those who want to do it themselves. That's why I do it. Because some people at the end of the day, they spent so much money buying the unit that even though this isn't an expensive unit, but that's all they had to get into the business, the industry of playing and having fun with the units. So they may not have an additional $165 or $175 for the lower door panels, which I think would have been nice if they came with it, considering how cheap, you know, they are. And uh, they may not have it. So I make little things like this for people who want to do it themselves. So anyway, enough jabbering. Let's get to So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is make a template of this area here, okay? You have a flange in here which you would screw to. I'm not sure if you're seeing that. There's a little flange, a little section here. Goodness gracious, the lighting sucks. There's a little spot here where you would mount, where you would mount the, uh, the panel. And it would fit in this hole right here. I've made my template out of cardboard. It'd take me a few minutes to make it. But as it stands now, 
it actually fits pretty darn good. I can't show you that because I can't hold it and do the video at the same time. So what I did is I took my template and I transferred it to this piece of ABS sheet. It's shiny on one side or dull on the one side textured and shiny on the other. Of course, I'm gonna put the shiny part on the inside. I want it textured on the outside because I'm sure it's going to absorb some scratches. Once you do that, you take the second, you take the second, you gotta make your second one. So now that you've got your first one made, you overlay it to do the second one. Make sure you put shiny part to shiny part, that way you'll have a reverse panel to match what you're doing. You want an exact opposite, because I'm gonna want this on the outside, and the other one's gonna be an exact opposite to be on the other side. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and cut this, and guess what I'm using, guys? Hair snips. It cuts it great. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, we've got our first panel in here. As you can see, it does fit pretty darn nice, and keep in mind around all the parameters except for up here. We're gonna have a, a weatherproof trim all the way around this. And all we're trying to do with this is stop the water from coming in. You see the little gap there? Not much here at the bottom, not much here at the back. My whole goal is to prevent water and mud from coming in on me as I'm riding. And yes, I forgot to put my drain plug in. So that's door one. We'll put the trim on here in a few minutes and we'll call this one done. Got my little trim on it here. Keeps most of the water out. As you can see here inside, you don't see much daylight. Actually did a pretty good job on them. Yeah, they're not the store-bought, but they open, close nicely. Fit it pretty good. So the product I have here in my hand, I got this off of Amazon. It's, it's just a little weather trim for doors or whatever. And it has a little piece of metal in here in the groove that you slide it in to the plastic. This is slotted to lock on to the plastic that I'm using Just like so you see here nice and clean line and it turned out really nice I've got a total I probably have a total of not including the mess in the cardboard templates I probably have a total of buying this sheet I bought a full sheet four by eight it cost me 50 bucks I bought this trim I got it off Amazon, cost me about 10 bucks. And the screws I'm using to support it, or to lock it in, is these Tex. You can see the size right here, number eight. Self-tapper screws. And um, man, these turned out great. Both doors are in. Everything looks good. I've got tons of screws in it. Of course, it has some flimsiness to it, but look at there, guys. Keeping the mud out of the door now, aren't I? For 60 bucks, and I've got tons of plastic left to make anything else I may need. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I got plenty more things to do to this unit. I'm going to build some armor for the A-arms and some armor for the... For the swing arms in the rear i'm not so concerned with the skid plate just yet because it seems to be okay um, a few things extra i'm going to do to it i'm going to design a, a window for the front a half windshield and i have a company in baltimore that i'm going to use to see what it's going to cost to make it out of um plastic um acrylic plastic scratch proof or whatever but i'm going to design a half windshield take them a template out of this black abs and see what they're going to charge me to make it so Hey, if it all goes well, they'll make that for me as well. And I'm saving tons of money, guys. DIY, baby. Peace out. God bless.